Anastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy clutch purse or evening bag that has both a hand sewn zipper and lining. For this project I'm using some size 10 crochet thread, but I'm taking four balls of it and holding four strands together so it's really easy to work with. And I'm using a size F crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot. Next, chain 42. This is an easy purse for someone who already knows how to crochet. If you need help with the basics, please see my beginner videos on my YouTube channel. Skip the first three chains and do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Do one double crochet across the row. At the end, you will have made 40 stitches. Then, Pivot your work and do 40 double crochet stitches on the other side of the chain. For round two, do one double crochet in the first stitch and in each stitch across. Since we're working in spirals with no slip stitches, you'll want to take something like a paper clip and always mark your first stitch. At the end, you will have made 80 double crochet stitches. For round three, do one double crochet in the first stitch and in each stitch around again for a total of 80 double crochet stitches. Now is a good time to measure your work. Be sure the width is about 10 inches. For rounds four and on, crochet until your clutch reaches a height of 6.5 inches, which was about 13 rows for me. We're going to need to crochet later, so insert a paper clip into the loop to keep your stitches from ripping out. Next, we'll need a 9 inch zipper. To help us with where to sew our stitches, I use a pencil to mark off every 1 centimeter. And I draw lines to help with making the stitches straight. By the way, please visit Nastasia.com for the written pattern and supplies list for this video. The key to making linings is to have them just a little smaller than the purse. And craft felt folded in half makes a wonderful lining for beginners since it is washable strong and does not fray. Place your zipper along the bottom edge of the felt. Clip or pin the felt to the zipper to help hold it in place. We're going to sew the one side of the zipper to the felt. I'm using a sewing stitch called a back stitch, but you can use any stitch you are comfortable with. My stitches will be one centimeter wide and I'm trying to sew along the straight pencil line I made. You can see what the stitches look like from the front. And here's a close-up view. Now that I finished half of the zipper, I open it up and clip it to the top side of the felt. Clip or pin the felt to the zipper to help hold it in place. I'm going to continue by making a stitch in the corner over to the unsewn zipper side. Turn the piece around and sew this side of the zipper to the felt. You can see what the zipper looks like attached to the felt. Now it's time to sew the sides closed. I made one centimeter marks again and used my same back stitch. Sew the first side, then sew the second side. And here is the finished lining. Since crochet purses tend to be floppy, I like to take something stiff, like plastic canvas, and insert it in between the lining and the outer purse. I cut my piece of plastic canvas just a bit smaller than my felt lining material, and I make two of them for each side of the purse. Now it's time to assemble the purse. Insert your lining inside the purse. Then insert one piece of plastic canvas on one side and another on the other side. See those stitches you made? We're going to crochet the purse to them. Grab your unfinished loop and do one single crochet. Going under the normal stitch on the purse and then going under one of your sewn stitches. The first couple of stitches are a real struggle, trying to hold everything in place. 
Continue crocheting around the purse in this manner. Sometimes you might need to use a zipper stitch for two purse stitches. And here is the finished lining attached to the purse. Feel free to use any of my flower videos to add a flower or other embellishments to your clutch. By the way, to view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. To get updates of my brand new videos, click on the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. Check out the description of this video for more information, and please visit astasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.